We are now all present, so I will call the meeting to order. I am Stan Moulton. I am the chair of the City Services Committee, and I will be presiding today. Uh, this meeting is being audio and video recorded. Laura, call the roll, please. Okay. Um, Councillor Moulton. Here. Councillor Labarge. Here. Councillor Dubbs. Here. Finally. And Councillor Rothenberg. Okay, we are all present. Thank you. Uh, is there anybody here who uh, wishes to make public comment? You may either raise your virtual hand or your real hand, your physical hand. Seeing none, I will then go on to... Uh, minutes of our previous three meetings does anybody have any corrections additions amendments they want to offer to the minutes for uh march 4th april 1st or the joint meeting with community resources on april 11th seeing none i will then suggest that we approve these as a group vote to approve second that uh, moved by uh, Councilor Labarge, seconded by Councilor Dubbs. Uh, any discussion about the minutes? Three sets? No? Uh, Laura, call the roll, please. Councilor Moulton. Yes. Councilor Labarge. Yes. Councilor Dubbs. Yes. And Councilor Rothenberg. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, so we will move on to the several items that have been referred to the council uh, for us to consider today, uh, various appointments, reappointments, and uh, we will start with uh, the appointment of uh, Chief Information Officer uh, Luigi Ottaviani. Welcome, Mr. Ottaviani, and please correct me if I am mispronouncing your name. No, that's perfect. And thank you. Thank you. So I'll just I'll just preface this by saying that this is a uh, a department head. Uh, uh, the chief information officer manages the information technology services department, which provides computer hardware and software ac acquisition, telecommunications infrastructure, information security, maintenance, and support of all city departments, including the school department. Uh, so, Mayor, if you want to speak to this appointment, uh, we would love to hear you. Gladly, yes. Just, you know, just in charge of a few small items. Um, I'm very excited for the council to meet Luigi Ottaviani, who um, is my appointment for Chief Information Officer for the city. Uh, the search that got us to Luigi was very long, um, and actually we went through two rounds of search um, to ensure that we found the right person for this critical position. Um, I just want to take a, a brief moment also to thank Rafael uh, Athiba for stepping up to be the acting director before Luigi's hiring. Um, we're very grateful for his leadership and commitment helping out um, during this time while we were doing these two searches. Uh, Luigi has a background with great experience in IT and health systems, including working across different divisions and departments and with different types of work, which is important for us. And I think sort of mirrors some ways how a municipality works um, since ITS works across all city departments, as you said, and in the schools and needs therefore to serve many different technological needs. Um, he also has experience in staff development and workflow optimization, which is something that was very attractive as we have a small but a dedicated staff um, that again, have to cover all of the ground of the city and the schools. Uh, Luigi has a, master, uh, has a master's in business administration and a BS in information technology management from American Public University. Um, in addition to his training in computer engineering from the Università di Bologna and his, um, he has professional certifications, including uh, being a certified information system security professional from ISC2, um, which he obtained uh, last year. So um, 
I'm very excited uh, to to welcome Luigi to the city. He's been with us for a few weeks now um, and already has been, I think, doing a wonderful job kind of getting his team together and um, learning the different departments and um, making the rounds and really kind of getting a handle on all of our ITS needs. So um, I'm, I'm just very, very happy to have him here and for you all to get to meet him. Okay, thank you. Uh, yes, Council LaBarge. Yes, um, I wanna thank, and I'm hoping I pronounce your name correctly. And if I don't, please excuse that. But I wanna thank um, Lujin, Adabani of being here today and listening to the mayor and also looking at this resume. It's, I'm telling you right now, it's unbelievable. The amount of experience, the degrees that you have are excellent. Excellent for that position. And I'm being very serious about that. I read it all and the mayor has gone over it also. What more could we be looking for? What tells me something, she went through two rounds of searching and that's important. So I wanna thank you for being here and thank you for being accepted as our new chief. And I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, Councilor Rothenberg. Hello, like the mayor, I too am in my car for a child related task coming up momentarily. Um, I just wanted to let you know um, that I'm excited about your candidacy. I'm excited that you're here, but I do wanna apologize to you because I have been so busy um, fielding constituent concerns about the school budget vote we just had last week that I actually didn't do any of the due diligence I would normally do. I did read your resume, that looks fabulous to me, but just because I know that I didn't do the level of preparation I usually do, I'm gonna abstain tonight, but I assume it will fly through and I'm glad you're here and I look forward to working with you. Great, thank you. Uh, so uh, I would uh, like to uh, hear uh, you talk a little bit about your uh, decision to move from the private sector. You've had about a decade of experience working uh, in, the, in, in healthcare to a municipal job, if you would. Uh, I'm just going to call you Luigi. I think we're, we're pretty yeah. informal here. <laughs> so if you would uh, address that, uh, love to hear you talk about that decision. Well, the decision came mostly since I believe it's an opportunity to provide the knowledge that I acquire in these years to a broader spectrum. So usually in uh, healthcare IT, we focus on specific specific aspect of the job. Um, at the same time in my career, I had the opportunity to experience all the sides of IT, so infrastructure and the analyst work, the workflow, management of people, and so on. And I wanted to find a place where I could actually put all these experiences in, in good use. And at a certain, also at a certain point, the, the medical field to me reached its completion. I mean, I knew pretty much any aspect of it. And so I was looking for a new challenge. And um, yeah, the city is close to where I live, so that improves my quality of life significantly and <laughs> going to Hartford or the Berkshire. So that's another plus. Um, and another factor that made me, convinced me was the right move was meeting all the staff during the interview process and the, the staff here. And everybody is fantastically motivated. And I think a great environment is a perfect way to to grow a career and to bring uh, what I can um, to the best of the city. So in short, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. And you live in East Hampton, correct? Yes. So uh, you are uh, just a brief, a briefer commute uh, from your home coming to uh, coming to Northampton. Yes. Okay. Uh, Council Rothenberg, is that your continued hand up or are you wanting to ask another question? 
Okay, your hand is now down. I am trying to lower, but it will not lower. Okay, well, it has it has disappeared. Um, so you you, uh, you didn't have another question. Correct. Okay. Okay. Any other questions for Luigi? Is there anything else, uh, Luigi, that you want to uh, say to us uh, to help us get to get to know you? Mm, no, I mean, I, I welcome the opportunity to work together. And please come meet me whenever you have the chance. I would love to speak with all of you and see what are your concerns, what we can do better as a department or a city. And anytime, please feel free to contact me. I'm happy to answer any question. <clears throat> Well, I, 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 I'm sure we all appreciate that invitation. I know from my own previous career how important, invaluable, and uh, just critical uh, the IT department is to any operation. So, so thanks. So our role, uh, we're, we are the, uh, the standing committee that reviews uh, uh, appointments by the mayor. So our role is to issue a recommendation to the full city council and i believe that the council will uh once we've issued our recommendation today we'll take it up at our next regular meeting which is may 2nd so i am looking now for a motion yes council labarge yes i just wanted to speak for a minute sure i i just want to let um luigi know that when i became a city councilor i was petrified of computers because what had happened was, uh, if my husband was in this room right now, he would agree. I went on to his engineering computer. And boy, what a mess I made out of that. And I was able to get the support from our council clerk who got that fright away from me. And I went to that department, your department, and they taught me on running a computer, do what I had to do. And I think a lot about that department. So if I ever do call you and the mayor is here and I need some advice because eventually I'm looking at getting a laptop, a laptop to bring to city council and I wanna make sure what I'm doing. So I wanna thank that department because they really helped me educationally of getting that fear away from me. Thank you. Uh, is there a motion on a recommendation? Yes, I'll make um, I'll make a motion with a positive recommendation for Luigi Antiviana to Chief Informational Officer to Full City Council. Is there a second? I'll second that. Okay, motion made by uh, Councilor Labarge, seconded by Councilor Dubs. Any further discussion? If not, roll call, please, Laura. Councillor Labarge. Yes. Councillor Dubbs. Yes. Councillor Rothenberg. Abstain. Councillor Moulton. Yes. Uh, so that passes 3-0 with one abstention. So as I said, Luigi, that will very likely be on the agenda for the May 2nd uh, City Council, which is the next meeting of the full full council. Perfect. So thank, thanks. Thanks for uh, for uh, coming today. Nice to meet you and uh, good luck. Thank you. OK, uh, so, Mayor, I want to take up next the Housing Authority appointments. If Can you s stay with us for a few minutes? Because I'd love to have you review the history, particularly for uh, Marilyn Richards appointment, which uh, has been um, a, a rather a long, lengthy journey. So we'll move on to uh, now the two uh, the two appointments to the Northampton Housing Authority. And uh, as uh, as uh, the current uh, city services members uh, re recall, we postponed this uh, from April 1st to make sure that we had the the terms correct because they are set by state law. So Marilyn Richards. Uh, is being uh, put forward for a a five-year term, July 2023 to June 2028. And Edgardo Cancel is being put forward for a 
three-year term, July 23rd, I'm, I'm sorry, July 2023 to June 2026. So, Mayor, do you want to speak to uh, to both of those appointments, please? Sure. So um, both of their terms actually expired last spring, um, and uh, I put, put them forward for reappointment. Um, the previous council had actually sort of dedicated a whole city services meeting to sort of talking about Northampton Housing Authority and talking about appointments. Um, to kind of allow that process, I removed them from that um, from the appointment because there's a to take them out of that kind of timeline um and then since then i've been working uh with the housing authority you know they've really been working very very hard on their board team building and doing professional development and sort of board development together um you know they've been trying to work through some challenges and just some um some kind of building of their board and their ability to kind of work together. And um, both of these appointees have expressed to me that they do very much want to continue to be part of that process, um, that they're committed to that work and that they really want to work towards building this board back to a place where, um, you know, they, where it's fully a fully, uh, fully appointed board um there still is one vacancy which um we're we're working through trying to um find you know get ltos set up and uh be able to have um a, a healthy amount of people who'd be interested in serving in that position um but both you know both um marilyn and edgardo have served for a while and bring a lot of experience um they bring professional experience, they, they bring lived experience to this work, and they're both very committed to the housing authority and to, um, to working together with all of the other uh, members, and including really figuring out how to center the tenants' voices um, and their concerns and their ideas, while also being able to do sort of the stuff and the work of the board and have productive meetings. So um, I'm happy to bring them both back forward uh, to the city council for reappointment. And, you know, they've, they've told me that they're happy to serve for another term. Um, and the, so we don't determine, uh, as you said, Maryland's term is five years. That's determined by, um, by the state. And um, so, but they, they both are committed to, to seeing out this term and doing kind of this, this kind of Im impressive and hard work that, the housing authority and their executive director are doing together to kind of bring the board together to do uh, to do what they need to do. Edgardo also should say he's the housing partnership um, appointee. Yes, thank you. Uh, questions for the mayor uh, on these two uh, appointees, Councilor Labarge. Yes, uh, Mayor, thank you very much. Um, I have talking to Marilyn Richards. I've also talked with the chair of the House and Partnership mm -hmm. and also with Carol. And we're looking at, I'm looking at Marilyn Richards right now, okay? With her being on that board, how many years, Mayor? Since oh. 2018. Yes, okay. Yeah. And she had her heart to that. Um, housing authority, plus all the committees that she has belonged in this city. Planning board, that's not an easy one. Mm -hmm. yep. And um, I think it was the whiting also that she was on and what mm -hmm. she does for the community. And I know her heart is with the housing authority. And I agree with you. They all want to work together and do what they have to do for the people of how they are being treated and having a good quality life there. And also too, with um, Escargo Cancel, he, way back, I met him and he worked very tirelessly with one of my residents who was an attorney, Marlene Morin. And he went to her to ask her to help him because he apparently lived, I think at Hampshire Heights at that time of making a organization there 
and now he's back on my ward and I think he's a great person and I think he's going to be really an asset for being on the housing authority and knowing also too that he is looking at going to the University of Mass. It is telling you right from the bottom to the top. He's working his way up and I think he's a great asset to be on the housing authority. That's it. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, he has. Um, I mean, so he grew up in Florence Heights um, and he so he has his own personal experience that he brings to this. Um, community organizing um, at the Northampton Housing Authority. So, yes, he brings remarkable experience. Yes. Thank you, Mayor. Sure. Other uh, questions or or comments? Okay, I will. Um, I want to. Um, I I want to uh, note that uh, the housing authority is is not a city agency, and, and the the one area where uh, the mayor and the council can have an impact on the housing authority is in the appointments of most of the uh, commissioners. So this is the one time that we get to kind of shape the policy making body for the housing authority. And I wanna also add that, um, I mean, this the housing authority is, is critical in Northampton. Uh, it is working, it is providing housing or should be providing housing for some of the most uh, vulnerable people in, 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 this, in the community. Uh, it oversees 619 units uh, in, on th in 13 properties serving about 855 people. So it, it's a critical organization. And this is our one opportunity to help to help shape uh, how it, how it is, it is managed. And when I look at the, uh, the, the the board the commissioners I'm looking for a balance of people who have uh, a good uh, good management skills who, who know how to how to manage effectively and uh, and also have community uh, a good sense of the community uh, but also uh, a balance with people who have lived experience and who have been or are currently a public housing, uh, tenants and and right now on that board, uh, the, the six current commissioners have that balance, I believe. And uh, as uh, Councillor Labarge and the mayor said, uh, Marilyn Richards uh, brings really a wealth of experience uh, in her uh, other roles in the community, having worked for years uh, for Cooley Dickinson Hospital, uh, having been a city councilor, a member of the planning board. Uh, she uh, uh, she was uh, she co-chaired the uh, senior center building committee. So she has had uh, a, a wide range of experiences in Northampton, and I believe uh, uh, adds uh, a, a good, good, solid sense of 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 the community along with her management skills to that board and. Uh, and also, as I will echo uh, uh, Council Labarge, uh, uh, Commissioner Cancel brings his own lived experience, as well as the point of view of from the housing partnership. And as the mayor said, I mean, it's no secret that there have been uh, there have been some uh, concerns about uh, uh, the operation of the board, the commission for the housing authority in, in recent months, but. I think uh, I think it's on a positive uh, trajectory now. I was very impressed with the meeting that I attended on March 18th, which uh, Director Leeper uh, said uh, was the best meeting in two years for how that board worked together. And uh, I believe that uh, all the commissioners now really have a sense of of the importance of that kind of team building that the mayor mentioned and particularly uh, listening to tenants and, and having a tenant-centered uh, board of commissioners. And I believe that both uh, uh, Marilyn Richards and Edgardo Cancel will, will add to that. So I 
uh, will certainly support a positive recommendation on their reappointments. And uh, in fact, I am looking now for a motion um, I make a motion with a positive recommendation for Marilyn Richards. To be let's, okay, let's do them one at a time. Yes. Is there a second on Marilyn Richards? Yes, I'll second that. Okay. Uh, uh, for the reappointment of Marilyn Richards, a uh, positive recommendation was uh, moved by Councilor Labarge, seconded by Councilor Dubbs. Uh, discussion, Councilor uh, Rothenberg. Yes, I just wanted to leave a record before I vote, just to explain my vote. Um, I also agree that there's been a great deal of conflict. Um, I'm familiar with, with the history and participated in, in public comment on that. When Marilyn Richards' reappointment last came before this committee, it was a different makeup then. But my feeling um, at this juncture, for for the same reasons, but to, toward a different end, to a different outcome, as Councillor Moulton, I think that I would actually be opposed to reappointments across the board for this body because I don't think it's appropriate to single out any person, and I don't think any person can be singled out. But I do agree that this is the one place where we have an opportunity to really impact public housing as the city, as it's not our agency. And I would have really liked to see, and I would still like to see in the future, a broader search that really develops more enthusiasm for serving on this board and making it more commonly known amongst the public that this would be a great service to do for Northampton. And I don't feel that we've done that sort of education and outreach for the public about this opportunity. And I also think there, there has been at least one, one applicant who I, I would have really supported as well that I thought could have been balanced. So for those reasons, I'm going to be a no vote just because I think that while I support all the good work that everyone is doing to try and come together, I think it's also fair to the tenants to acknowledge that this has been a slow process and that I think looking deeper into the community to sort of have a fresh start would be a faster way to get to where we need to go. Okay, any further discussion on the reappointment of Marilyn Richards? If not, uh, Laura, call the roll, please. Councillor Dobbs. Yes. Councillor Rothenberg. No. Councillor Moulton. Yes. And Councillor Labarge. Yes. Okay, that passes uh, uh, three in favor uh, and one opposed to a positive recommendation. Now looking for a, uh, a motion on a recommendation for Commissioner Council, uh, Councillor Labarge, please. Yes, I make a motion with a positive, positive recommendation for Council Aquadro to be reappointed to the North Devon House Authority with a positive recommendation to full city council. Is there a second? Yes, I'll second that. Okay, motion made by Councillor Labarge, seconded by Councillor Dubbs. For a positive recommendation on Commissioner Consell, any further discussion about his reappointment? Seeing none, uh, Laura, call the roll, please. Councillor Rothenberg. No. Councillor Moulton. Yes. Councillor Labarge. Yes. And Councillor Dobbs. Yes. Okay, that motion uh, for a positive recommendation on Commissioner Consell uh, passes a three, three yes and one no. And uh, both of those will uh, advance to the City Council, uh, I believe, on May 2nd. Uh, so uh, I just want to check. Uh, to see whether any of the um, members of the City Services Committee have any questions for the mayor on the other uh, the other three reappointments that we have, uh, which are two to the Council on Aging and one to transportation and parking before the mayor. We can then let the mayor go continue her journey. Uh, any questions from anybody about those other three reappointments? Mm -hmm. Seeing none, Mayor, um, thank you for your time. And you. Uh, you can be off now to wherever <laughs> you're headed. 
<laughs> okay. Thank you. I appreciate it, everyone. All right. Good drive, thank drive safely. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Okay. We will now take up. Uh, we have two appointments uh, to uh, the, uh, these are both reappointments to the Council on Aging. Uh, we have uh, we have Jean Henry Hoos and Ann Romano. Uh, we'll take these one at a time. Jean Henry Hoos uh, has uh, served uh, for two terms um, on the Council on Aging <clears throat> beginning in 2018. And I think that she's best known uh, probably at the Senior Center for organizing the art exhibitions there. And uh, those are part of, of uh, uh, Arts Night Out. Uh, any, uh, any questions or comments about uh, Ms. Hoos? Is there a motion for a recommendation on her? Yes, I make a uh, make a motion for a recommendation with a positive recommendation um, to full city council of the reappointment of January Hoos. Second. Okay. okay, motion made by uh, <clears throat> Council Labarge uh, for a positive recommendation, seconded by uh, Councilor Rothenberg. Any further discussion on uh, Jean Henry Hoos? If not, uh, Laura, would you call the roll, please, on a positive recommendation for Jean Henry Hoos to the Council on Aging? Councillor Moulton. Yes. Councillor Labarge. Yes. Councillor Dobbs. Yes. And um, Councillor Rothenberg. Yes. Okay, that positive <laughs> recommendation passes a uh, four to zero. The second reappointment uh, to the Council on Aging is uh, Anne Romano. Uh, she has served one term beginning in 2021. Uh, she, um, she actually volunteered, she used to volunteer at the Senior Center before uh, she began serving on the Council on Aging. So she is quite familiar with its programs there. Uh, she also brings other experience to the Council on Aging, having served other city municipal government experience, having served both on the Planning Board and the Capital Improvements Committee. Any questions, comments about uh, Ann Romano? Is there a motion for a recommendation? on Ann Romano. I'll make a motion for a positive recommendation. I'll Ann Romano. Second. Okay. Motion made by Councillor Dubbs, seconded by Councillor Labarge for a positive recommendation, reappointment to the Council on Aging for Ann Romano. Any further discussion? Yes. Um Cordially spoke before I did on that second. Okay. Uh <laughs> Laura, that was seconded by uh, Councillor Rothenberg. Okay. Uh, roll call? Uh, please. Okay. Um, Councillor Labarge? Yes. Councillor Dubbs? Yes. Councillor Rothenberg? I, I'll take that as a yes. Yes. Okay. And Councillor Moulton? Yes. Okay. So positive recommendation uh, for Ann Romano to reappoint, be reappointed to the Council on Aging passes uh, four to zero. Both those uh, will now go on to the city council, I presume on May 2nd. The last reappointment that we have tonight is uh, Transportation and Parking Commission. This is Jamie Albro Fisher. Uh, he um, is one of the four uh, citizen members of this uh, part uh, Transportation and Parking Commission. Um, and he has served uh, three terms uh, uh, starting in 2015. Um, I have been to a fair number of Transportation and Parking Commission meetings over the last couple of years, and I know that he is a, um, a very uh, 
active uh, member. Uh, he's been all, at all the meetings that I've been at of transportation and parking and, uh, uh, you know, has a strong interest in the issues that um, are taken up by by this this committee and uh, is willing to continue serving. Any comments, questions about his reappointment? Is there a motion? I make a motion with a positive recommendation um, to full city council <laughs> for James Fisher. I'll second that. Okay, motion made by Council Labarge, seconded by Councilor Dubs for a positive recommendation on Jamie Albro Fisher to the Transportation and Parking Commission. Any further discussion? Seeing none, uh, roll call please, Laura. Councilor Dubs. Yes. Councilor Rothenberg. Abstain for the same reasons as the IT vote. Councilor Moulton. Yes. And Councillor Labarge. Yes. Okay, that uh, passes three, three nothing, three to zero with one abstention, uh, and that also will go to the full city council presumably on May second. And finally, we have uh, one new appointment. Uh, uh, Jenna Perna Elias, uh, who lives on Pleasant Street to fill a vacancy on the Disability Commission. Uh, Councillor Rothenberg. Yes, I happen to know this individual. So I just wanted to share with you in my capacity as a counselor, I have worked with her tenants organization and I've seen the way she participates and the way she brings so much courage and kindness at the same time to advocacy on behalf of fellow tenants. And so I wholeheartedly recommend her for this. I think she will bring that same energy. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, is, because, it, because, yes. because, excuse me. Yes, is go ahead. A, is this go, a referral? This is a, a new appointment. So someone from the committee will interview her. Uh, is that what you're asking, Council Labar? Yes, because. Yes. It says to fill a vacancy. Yes. On. Yes. Okay. So I, I appreciate. Uh, Go ahead. Okay, I, uh, Councilor Rothberg, I appreciate your your contribution today. You can repeat that um, at our next meeting when we actually vote on a recommendation for her. She is a resident of Ward Three, um, and you know her already. But I know that you've got uh, other obligations uh, uh, over the next. Uh, you know, the, for, for much of the rest of the month. So I, I thought it would make sense to have either Councillor Dubs, who is remains on the Disability Commission, or Councillor Labarge, who has been a longtime member of Disability Commission, to interview her. So I, I think I'm seeing gestures here that that uh, Councillor <laughs> Dubs is uh, is uh, is suggesting that he would like to interview her. Is that correct? Um, yes, I'd love to actually. Okay. Um, uh, we've been looking forward to having a new member on on our commission for a while, so very excited about it. Okay, that would be great uh, to have you interview her. Uh, so that would be done uh, uh, over the next uh, two and a half weeks because our next regular meeting is March. I'm sorry, is May sixth. Mm. So uh, if you could get that done. Uh, between now and May 6th, Councilor Dubs? No problem. And then report, we'll report back to us at our next regular meeting. Okay, great. Oh, sounds great. I have my hand up. Yes, Councilor Labarge. Yes, and I know it's difficult for you to look at hands, but I was highly going to recommend Jeremy Dubs to be on that. Good. Just oh, thank you. Know. Thank Good. you, Councilor. You're welcome. Okay, that takes care of... Uh, all the items that uh, were referred to us. Uh, is there any any new business? Okay, so our, our next, I appreciate, I just want to say I appreciate the special meetings. We've had two special meetings in the last week. 
Uh, I think we all found the one last week, many resources to be very informative. And I appreciate your taking uh, this 45 minutes tonight to clean up the uh, all of the appointments and reappointments that have been referred to us. So our next regular meeting will be May 6th. We may get some some appointments um, uh, from the uh, from the Mart from the May 2nd council meeting. Councilor Barge. Yes, thank you. And I think this meeting was a great meeting. I really do. It was a pleasure having the mayor here and talking about the reappointments and so forth. That was very, very critical. And also meeting our new director also. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's my point. I thought it was a very good meeting today. Well, thank you, Council LaBarge, and thank everybody who attended for helping to make it a good meeting. Is there a motion to adjourn? Move to adjourn. No. I'll second that. No. Oh, okay, I heard. I yeah, heard, I'm hearing something else. Uh, yeah. Oh, something uh, in the background. Yeah. Council LaBarge moved to adjourn, seconded by Councilor Dubs. Uh, roll call, please, Laura. Um, Councilor Dubs. Yes. Councillor Rothenberg. Yes. Councillor Moulton. Yes. And Councillor LaBarge. Yes. Okay, thank you all.